So I wanted to answer your questions because you guys wrote in with questions, which makes me so happy. First of all, I wanted to say something. The sky, there ain't no reason to cry alone. Not better. Okay. I'm not currently on camera because I have no makeup on right now. <laughs> um, wow, I won't even focus. Like, okay, there we go. I'm about to cut my hair, but I don't want to do it on camera because I have no makeup on and I'm way too vain. So I'm gonna try to make, but I really am here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to do this and uh, film as much as I can. Oh my goodness, I'm backing out again. I keep saying I'm gonna cut my hair and then I go to like, get it ready to cut, and then I just am like, all right, I'll just leave it as it is. Because I straighten it to cut it so I can cut it dry, and then once I straighten it, I'm like, maybe I should just leave it, and then I don't cut it. So I don't know what's gonna happen. The mystery continues. Well, I didn't do it. Typical. Well, I feel like it's getting darker and darker in this house. It's incredible. It's actually not as dark as it looks on camera. Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. Hold on. Oh, I think I fixed it. I think it was actually just my... What? I don't understand. It. Look at that. I can actually fix that myself. Oh, hello. Welcome to 2020. So, as you guys know, I like the dark, but when I'm shooting, I actually like for you to be able to see what's going on. So, there's hope again. There's my little baby. Come on, Rose. Come on in. Come on in. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's get ourselves together. Oh, Rev. He's always standing on my oxygen cannula. I keep filming this because I'm like, I'm gonna cut my hair, I'm gonna cut my hair, and then I go in the bathroom, straighten my hair, and then I'm like, I don't really need to cut my hair. And I never spend money cutting my hair, I always cut it myself. I also want everything done right now. Hold on, let me go down the white. So like, it would be there. So, actually, let me know what you guys think. Should I cut it? It would be here. That's what I'm thinking. Like, better than what it is now. I mean, look nicer than this hopefully but basically that's what I'm thinking so should I do it should I not yeah let you guys decide because who better to decide than you what you want to be on camera let's say hi to the world say hi oh always oh, the owner has always oh, the owner when I put the camera on, and then I put take the camera turn the camera off and it's like a giant beast okay I turn the camera off you're like a beast huh yeah so I wanted to answer your questions because you guys wrote in with questions, which makes me so happy. First of all, I wanted to say something. Can I put you on the floor for this? Yeah, because I can breathe better when I don't hold the big baby in my arms. Can I put you on the floor, Raspberry? Okay. First of all, stop it. First of all, breathe. Um, first of all, so breathe. Anyway, I have my computer right here because you guys wrote questions. Let's get rid of the garbage. Bye bye garbage. Is my light dying? No. Okay. First of all, I'm so happy you wrote me questions. And yes, writing them on YouTube is usually so much easier for me. So writing them in the comment section below this video is so much easier and so much faster and just is so much better. A couple of people wrote me <clears throat> letting me know that my videos were really helping them and were making them smile and motivating them. And that makes me so, so happy to hear. The reason that I make these videos at all is just in the hopes that they can be like even remotely helpful in some way, um, whether it be things that I've done or just anything. Like that is my true hope is that these videos can somehow bring some sort of happiness to you. So that just makes me so happy to hear that they do. Um, <laughs> and <clears throat> these like random weird vlogs of me just existing and doing weird things, the fact that that can make you smile makes me really happy. So thank you for letting me know. Uh, so I'm going to answer some questions that you guys wrote me because that's what I want to do today. So <clears throat> fix the hair, fix the hair. So one of you wanted to do, to do, one of you guys, so you wrote me one of your... One of your questions was, do a video on your oxygen system and all of your oxygen stuff devices. That is a great idea. I'm gonna do that separately just cause I think I should just make that its, an, its own video. Um, at this point, I don't have any devices that work. So, <laughs> cause I'm still waiting for my Inogen to arrive. My Inogen's broken and I'm still waiting for my conserver to be to, to arrive. The one that I have right now is actually totally fine. It's doing the trick. So Steve is working out for me right now, but like, 
it's not a good time to do an oxygen tutorial because literally nothing is working correctly. So I'm gonna wait on that one. So this one was written on my YouTube page. Um, Hi Chloe, how do you know how much exercise is safe? I know we aren't supposed to push it. So I just wanna say with regard to exercise, that in the beginning I was very concerned, I was very worried about exercise because I thought this makes no sense, like my heart is already working so hard. The right side was three times its normal size, so I'm like, exercise? That seems a little counterintuitive. However, I went to, I say this in a lot of my videos, so feel free to just like go away and uh, exit out of this video. Although I will talk about other things after, but maybe skip ahead if you've heard me say this like 10,000 times. Basically, I went to pulmonary therapy and it was a place called the Pulmonary Wellness and Rehabilitation Center in New York City. And Dr. Noah Greenspan, whose place it is, is amazing. They're all amazing there. And they helped me come up with a routine that was actually safe that pushed me, which is what I really liked. So I was very scared of myself. I was like, oh, I can't get on that treadmill. I can't even get on the treadmill because by the time I get there, my heart rate is so high and da da da. And he's like, get on the treadmill. So I would get on the treadmill and then I'm like, but I can't walk on the treadmill because my heart rate is so high. And he's like, walk on the treadmill. So I would walk on the treadmill. And then I was really dehydrated too at the time because I was so scared to drink. And he's like, here, have this huge glass of water. And I was like, I can't have water because the, the fluid restriction and did it. And he's like, drink the water. He's like, your blood pressure is so low and you were so dehydrated. So I was like, oh, so I was so scared. So I was drinking water like walking on a treadmill and I was like, what is this? Like clearly something's gonna go wrong. Nothing went wrong. He pushed me as hard as he could push me. And this is what I wanna say is that all of this happened under supervision at first. So the way that I created this routine for myself is because I basically took the routine that they gave me. I've changed it around, but they were able to monitor me at first to make sure that what I was doing was safe. So they were checking my heart function. They were checking my pulse. They were checking my um, oxygen levels, everything was being monitored to make sure that things were pushing me, but also not hurting me. So that's key. So I would say if you can find a pulmonary rehab center in your area, that's good. And that's like not a depressing place to go, but that's an encouraging, happy place to go. Definitely start there. So I hope that answers your question. Now I just exercise based on what I feel and I feel less scared of myself because I know myself and my body pretty well, at least I think I do. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, what else do we have? So I'm gonna answer one more question today, which is how long did you have your Inogen before it went down? I have an Inogen 3, use it all the time. When you're doing your 45 minute walk, what setting do you have on? So the Inogen um, I use d until it broke is the Inogen 1 G3 as well. Is that the one you have? Yeah, it is, okay. So it's the same one. And mine has lasted, gosh, I think like, okay, I have no sense of time, so I'm making this up, 100% making this up, but it was in my last house, it's probably like two years maybe. Um, but I haven't done anything, like I haven't replaced columns, like apparently you're supposed to replace columns, like there are things you're supposed to do, but that I don't know about, I didn't know about, so I didn't do any of those things. So it's been two years, I'm making this up. Two years is what I think because it was in my old apartment and that just feels right. So I'm gonna say two years. And then what was the second? When are you doing your, oh, what do I have it on on my 45 minute walk? Oh, when I take my baby out. Yeah, so when I take him out on my walk, I put it on three. And the antigen, I use the double battery always because the single battery for me is useless because one is, I, once I leave the house, I tend to like leave forever. So it's very hard to get me out of the house because I love being home. Like I would literally just stay home every day forever um, and, and sit at my computer and go to my keyboard and like create music and, and work and never leave my house ever. But sometimes you have to leave your house. And when I do leave my house, I tend to stay out forever. So I never come home. So like the antigen has to last. Compulsive behaviors. Welcome to my brain. Everything is extreme. So I'll leave in the morning, take the Inogen, and I'll, it really is because I try to get every single thing done so that I don't have to go out. So I'm like, all right, if I have to go out today, I'm gonna do like 40 things today. Um, I hope that answers your question. And that's it. So I'm gonna make more of these vlogs again when I choose to. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. And I will see you all very soon. Um, I just hit my leg. Okay. 
feel it. But I touch the sky. There ain't no reason to cry alone.